For those of you who are living under a rock for the past month or so, which, let's be honest, I think some of you really were because of what's going on in the world right now, GTA 4 was removed from Steam. Now, recently it's been re-released with a few changes here and there. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the game and see what's up and see if it's worth playing. So why was the game removed in the first place? Well, to put it frank, the game was just so broken and janky, it was just not a fun time to play. The game suffered from extremely terrible performance, even on the best of machines, and it utilised the now extinct Games for Windows Live. The Games for Windows Live aspect was used in the game as a sort of DRM to prevent piracy, and also for people to play online with. So, now that the game is back, what's changed? Well, for starters, if you don't already own the game, looking on the Steam store it would seem that GTA 4 has now been reduced to just one version of the game. GTA 4 Complete Edition, which as you might expect houses the base game where you play as Nico, as well as the two story DLCs. I'm gonna say, I think this is for the best, just keeping things simple. I like that. For those who already own the game, well, here's what happened. To very quickly sum it up, if you've bought GTA 4 in any sort of fashion at all, then you can get GTA 4 Complete Edition absolutely free, even if you bought the Games for Windows Live physical media version, which is pretty cool. So if you've bought the game for PC in any sort of manner, you're entitled to get the game for free if you haven't already been given it. Diving into the game, you'll notice a lack of something that literally no one on planet Earth will miss the Games for Windows Live client. The game launches, it brings you to the menu, and you can start playing the game. Wow, who knew such a simple concept could exist? Anyway, so what it's like to actually play the game? Well, actually pretty good, I gotta say. The game, as far as I've seen in this short recording session, runs pretty nicely, at least on my specs. I don't know if Rockstar Games have tinkered with the engine to optimize it for modern hardware, but at least for me, the game doesn't seem to go any lower than 70 FPS with highs as much as 120 on high settings. It does choke a little bit like when you look at some place that the camera hasn't panned to and the game has to load all the assets in. The game chokes a tiny little bit, but it's really nothing that'll leave you motion sick. Overall, the game runs pretty well. It's decent and playable. Nice. Unfortunately, at least for me, the game still suffers from some minor glitches here and there. I have no idea how in-depth Rockstar Games have delved into the game engine or fixed any issues, if any, but I personally ran into some very strange anomalies in the form of post-mission static cameras, if there's even a better way to describe them. It's the camera that activates whenever you arrive at a location for a mission, like, all oh, right. Think for the rat, CJ! You know, those cameras. Every GTA game has them, pretty much. Whenever I arrive somewhere, the camera for some reason just wants to zoom in, and once it reaches max zoom, the game slow down to a grinding 1fps halt. Yeah, it's weird, I have no idea what's going on. And yes, of course, the game is currently unmodded for the sakes of this video. I'm sure a lot of you will be wanting to mod the game so that it not only looks better, but performs better as well. But I'm going to judge the game based on its vanilla setup. One thing I like to think people will mod into the game is multiplayer, because that, at least for the complete edition, is now completely absent from the game. Yes, that's right, no multiplayer anymore. Which means no more hanging around the skate park with your friends and shredding the half pipes on Fagios. But to be fair, I don't ever remember anyone ever playing the multiplayer of GTA 4 within the past few years, so I think the loss of multiplayer in this title won't be on the front page of the paper. I'm sure it'll be modded in just like multiplayer for every other GTA game. But at least I can save my single player campaign progress now, as that was a major issue on the older versions of the game, which required you to be signed into Google in order to do something as simple as save your game. So overall, how does the re-release of GTA 4 on Steam hold up? Good. It works. You can play the game. Rockstar did a good job of simplifying the game down to its roots, and just letting players play a fantastic game in the series. And I thank you for watching. For more GTA-related stuff, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, folks.